Good morning. Today is Thursday, D Day. I'm Tom Abrazazi. And I'm Kara Kalov. And this is Kennedy Live. Happy birthday to Olivia Frantescos and Mrs. McGowan. <laughs> Everybody, really Miss McGowan. And in the news, uh, a former U.S. enlistee who vowed to bring the Islamic State straight to your doorstep pleaded guilty Wednesday to attempting to. Uh, detonate a car bomb at Riley Military Base in Kansas, authorities said. Uh, John Booker Jr., he's 21 years old, also known as Mohammed Abdullah Hassan, entered his plea before U.S. District Judge Carlos Merguia uh, to one count of attempted use of a weapon of mass destruction and one count of attempted destruction of government property by fire or explosion. He's to receive a 30-year federal prison sentence. John admitted that he intended to kill U.S. military personnel on American soil in the name of ISIL. Home alone, when a fire broke out in the condo complex, the little girl was standing on the temporary safety of her third floor balcony, um, listening to the officers below yelling at her to jump. Uh, this story is about someone who in a fire house, the house was on fire and she jumped out of the building. There was no intro on the slide. I'm sorry. Um, fire trucks have yet to arrive. I didn't know what to do and I listened to them. Uh, Sophia, uh, that's a long last name, she's nine years old, told CNN affiliate uh, WABC of New York. I just jumped because there was because it was no chance. Underneath her were three Mawa, New York, uh, or New Jersey police officers. Their arms were her only exit. Fire had just started to roll out the door onto the balcony when she made her move Tuesday night. She jumped backwards off the balcony. She was the most confident, brave little kid that I've ever met, Lieutenant Jeff Dino on the Mawa Police Department said. She put complete faith in us, and when she jumped back, we caught her. Well, now let's head over to this day in history with Brendan. Good morning, Kendi Catholic. I'm Brendan with This Day in History. In 1784, the first unmanned balloon flight takes place in Ireland. In 1789, the first U.S. Electoral College chooses George Washington and, as president and John Adams as vice president. In 1849, the first U.S. telegraph company is established in Maryland. In 1945, Franklin D. Roosevelt, Winston Churchill, and Joseph Stalin meet at Yalta to discuss the final phases of World War II. And in 2004, Mark Zuckerberg launches Facebook from his, home, from his Harvard dorm room. Now back to the anchors. Thank you, Brendan. All right, let's take a look at some sports. Over the weekend, Ed Longus placed fourth in the county wrestling competition in the heavyweight class. Congrats, Ed. Tonight, the New York Rangers play the Minnesota Wilds at 7. And the New York Knicks play the Detroit Pistons, also at 7. The Golden State Warriors beat the Washington Wizards 134-121. to Steph Curry had 51 points, and John Wall had 41 points and 10 assists. And now for some announcements. Um, there's a boys lacrosse meeting Tuesday, February 9th, immediately after school in the library. Um, all JV players and anyone else interested in lacrosse this upcoming season, please attend, and you do not need any experience. Um, the Student Council will be hosting a dodgeball tournament tomorrow, February 5th. Please sign up in the cafeteria if you're interested, and you can see me emceeing it. So be there. Juniors and their guests who plan to attend the semi-formal are reminded that the deadline for payment and submission of the contract is this coming Monday, February 8th. Please bring in those items this week to Miss Willis. See her today if you have any questions or need a contract. This event will need to be canceled if there is insufficient participation. Thank you. A reminder, check out Gail Wins each week on the Kennedy Catholic website. If you're interested in writing for Gail Wins, please contact Miss McGowan. Thank you. Well, I'm Kiara Kalov. And I'm Tom Abrazazi. And this is Kennedy Live. Have a great day.